David Carsanti. I work in digestive endoscopy and especially in ERCP and the US. I work in my endoscopy unit uh, at uh, the Clinique de Bercy in Paris. I've got a research activity for the one uh, I work in a French task force belonging to the French Society of Digestive Endoscopy. Uh, this task force uh, is called uh, the GRAF and consists of more than 30 to 40 uh, units around France working uh, all together on these topics. Uh, what we publish today is a large prospective multicenter randomized study evaluating a complete sphincterotomy, a plus large volume dilation, ESNBD, versus endoscopic sphincterotomy for large bile duct stone removal. I have presented uh, these results on DDW uh, last year on oral communication in San Diego. Uh, as you know, uh, endoscopic sphincterotomy is the treatment uh, for common bile duct uh, stone, but 10% of patients have uh, difficult to extract uh, uh, CVD stones that require mechanical lithotripsy. But mechanical lithotripsy is a technically challenging uh, procedure, a time consuming procedure, and also a costly procedure. That's why in 2003, a uh, new technique, ESLBD, has been published associating an endoscopic sphincterotomy to a uh, large volume delay. Six randomized studies have been published on ESLBD, but two of them uh, evaluated uh, exclusively a large stones, and only two of them evaluated ESLBD after a large sphincterotomy. But no one evaluated ESLBD in both conditions. I mean that no study assessed yet the however particularly common situation of large bile duct stone impossible to extract after that uh, endosco a large endoscopic uh, sphincterotomy has been performed. And the principal criterion in our study was the stone clearance rate with one uh, endoscopic session. We randomized 150 patients. Inclusion criterion was a diameter over than 13 mm for bandux stones on cholangiogram and we excluded patients with a distal CVD structure. We randomized patients in two groups. Uh, the first one was ESLBD and the other one uh, endoscopic sphincterotomy. And uh, if necessary in both groups, mechanical lithotripsy has been performed. What were uh, our results? ESLBD uh, for the main criterion uh, stone clearance rate have a very higher uh, stone clearance rate uh, than uh, conventional treatment with 96% of success rate versus uh, 74%. Uh, the other thing is that uh, mechanical lithotripsy was necessary in only 4% uh, in uh, ESLBD group versus 36% uh, in conventional group. Uh, the last point was uh, the comparison of uh, patients of ESLBD group uh, versus uh, conventional group that in which were performed uh, mechanical lithotripsy. And what we saw is uh, that uh, ESLBD uh, group uh, have a better uh, stone clearance rate, but uh, also a, a lower cost of consumable, uh, approximately 200 euros, and uh, also a lower time of procedure approximately 10 minutes less. Mobility and mortality were low uh, in both groups and no different between uh, both groups. To conclude, we shown in this first large multicenter randomized study evaluating ESLBD in this however common situation of large stones after a large endoscopic centrotomy, uh, we concluded that ESLBD uh, has a better efficacy with a less frequency of mechanical lithotripsy with an equivalent mobility and with a lower cost and a lower length of procedure. Thanks to these conclusions, we thought that ESLBD should be considered today as the first line step in large bile stone treatment and also in rescue treatment. For that, uh, we propose in this article a new algorithm on uh, endoscopic management of CVD stones. I want to thank all the members of the uh, graph that included a uh, patient in this uh, study and also I want to thank all the patients uh, to have accepted to be included. Thank you.